a fatal accident claimed the life of a bicyclist on Saturday, April 18th at the corner of Cleveland Avenue between South Saratoga Street and Elk Place near Tulane Medical Center in the Central Business District. Initial investigations from the New Orleans Police Department said the cyclist was hit by a car after disregarding a stop sign on South Saratoga Street and then run over by a second vehicle. You know, our hearts go out uh, to, to that individual and everyone around him. Dan Favor, the executive director for Bike Easy, a local nonprofit organization, says with more cyclists planning to be on the road on Wednesday for their bike to work event, drivers can expect to be sharing the road. In past years, we've seen uh, five to six hundred riders come in uh, on bike to work day. Favor says bike routes that parallel busy streets like the ones in the CBD are typically safer for cyclists. To prevent serious accidents from happening, he says cyclists should be more predictable. Using hand signals, following the rules of the road, make sure you're not riding too close to parked cars. And he says drivers should also drive slower in areas where there are shared roads and give cyclists at least three feet of space. So state law states that you need to give a person riding a bicycle three feet uh, when you pass them, and that's another just a really important piece. This diagram shows different types of bike lanes from best protected designs to least protected designs. The intersection at South Saratoga Street and Cleveland Avenue would be among one of the least protected designs for cyclists. And during filming for this story around midday in a 15 minute span at the same intersection, not one or two, but three cyclists rode through the intersection without stopping at the stop sign. Being a cyclist, how does that make you feel and what is the message you kind of want to put out there to cyclists to kind of prevent a fatal accident from happening? I mean, I just really want everyone to ride their bikes safely out there. I don't want to see any more incidences where we have people get hurt or killed. And, you know, I, that's going to be a shared responsibility between everyone. A memorial sits at the corner of South Saratoga Street for the cyclist who was killed over the weekend. Favor says he hopes that more infrastructure public awareness ads and bike education courses can prevent more accidents from happening. We still have a long way to go as we saw this weekend uh, because we really need to get to a place where we can eliminate those traffic fatalities and serious injuries.